On a footbridge in Wan Chai, an Indonesian journalist following Hong Kong riot police streams live to her viewers on Facebook. Within minutes, officers raise their guns as a group of protesters appear. With police retreating, the crowd moves forward. Suddenly, an officer fires a shot. A rubber bullet has hit journalist Vivi Inda in her right arm. Her body slumped on the ground, crying out in pain, her camera still streaming. For more than three weeks, Vivi lay in this hospital bed. She underwent surgery twice, and while doctors managed to preserve her ruptured pupil, they were not able to save her eyesight. I don't know what, what to, to answer. I don't know what would happen. Her older sister flew in from Jakarta, refusing to leave her side. Her reassuring presence most valuable at night, when the flashbacks of the shooting haunt Vibi. It's really a hard time for her. 39-year-old Vivi came to Hong Kong in 2012, working for an Indonesian newspaper. She mainly reported on labour issues affecting migrant workers. That was until the Hong Kong protests kicked off. <laughs> Vivi has been on the front line many times and believes it's her job to document the truth. But now she fears that journalists are being targeted by police. I pray, please God, no more journalists get shot. Because this is crazy, we're not in the war zone. Vivi's lawyer, Michael Vidler, plays video from a recent protest. He says the footage shows an officer throwing a tear gas grenade at a group of journalists. It's this refusal to accept the fact that some officers are out of control um, is the problem, because then it gives them license to do even worse. And we are seeing an escalation of the misconduct of the police officers. Since the shooting here on the 29th of September, Vivi has filed a complaint with police and provided them with a written statement. She is demanding to know the name of the officer who shot her so she can take civil action. Information the police to date have refused to reveal. When contacted by CNN, Hong Kong police said the case is under investigation and could not comment. The Hong Kong Journalists Association says police have, quote, repeatedly used unnecessary force against reporters, a claim police vehemently deny. We certainly do not target a uh, genuine reporter intentionally. And I would like to stress that police fully respect the right of a media to report an incident in Hong Kong. We have seen individual operations that involved reporters standing in between the police officers in operations and rioters. I understand that those spots are easier for doing proper news coverage, but those are indeed dangerous spots. If that officer was shot in the eye, he will not laugh three weeks in the hospital. Just watching and wondering what is happening, and why is th why this like this? Why why this happened? Why does nothing happen? The lack of answers now driving Vivi in her pursuit for justice.